They stream round that Sean Walker, and ahead of him it's Rouse, Brody, Gravin, Bristow. Over the crest, Pilgrim's drop. Ed Gravit takes Brody up into second place. Now we look back, and that is Dave Brody right behind us at 120 miles an hour. Into Hawthorne Bend and out of it. Down to Westfield. And you can just see Bristow's car behind in fourth position. There it is, and he's challenging. Lawrence Bristow challenging Dave Brody, who holds third position. So it's Cosworth's first, second, third, fourth, Sterling's Ben, Rouse, Gravid, Brody smoking a bit. Lawrence Bristow behind him in fourth position. On to Clearways, where with Lawrence Bristow, watch his gear changes. Up into fifth, back into third. And ahead, it's Rouse, the leader. Gravid in second place. Dave Brody, they're well spread out. Down the Brabham Street, 130 miles an hour. Over the line, Rouse, Gravid. Into Paddock. And that's Thomas Bensera, the Czechoslovakian driver, in the blue car, being chased by Carl Jones. Ninth and tenth. Jerry Marney back in the race. And here's what happened on Cooper Street. Ahead is Graham Goon. Jerry drifts a bit, hits the grass, loses traction, spins off. But he'll be back. Surtees Bend, Andy Rouse right behind him, Rob Gravitt. And not so far behind them, Dave Brody, Lawrence Bristow, Mike Smith, there they are, all together. And as Mike Smith chases them down Pilgrim's drop, Bristow goes past Brody, up into third position. Rob Gravitt attacking Andy Rouse at 130 miles an hour as they go down the Brabham Strait, over the line. Rouse leads, Gravitt second, Bristow in third position. Then it's Brody, Smith, Guy Edwards, into Paddock. And now Mike Smith is right up with Dave Brody. Fourth position. Rouse, Gravitt, Bristow, Brody, and Mike Smith attacking in the red and white Sierra around Druids. In car with Mike Smith, down to Graham Hill Bend. Third gear, 85 miles an hour. Up towards Surtees, the left hand. Going through the gears. Got a bit of loose trim on the bumper there. Over the crest, out of Surtees. Brody runs a bit wide, and this is Mike Smith's opportunity. Has he lost it because he had momentum there? But Dave Brody stays ahead, but not for very much longer because Smith is going through. No, he's not. Brody holds him off as they go into the right hander and now down the short straight to Westfield. Terrific scrap here for fourth position. And you can see Bristow, there he is as he goes through Sterling's, the left-hander. Third, fourth and fifth, almost together, here are the leaders. Rob Gravitt slingshotting out of the right-hander and Clark Curve. Down the straight, he tucks it very tight to the arm curve. Peter Paddock, Rouse, the leader. Gravit in second place. Now then, Rob Gravit's won four races already. Andy Rouse has won three races. Is he going to even it by staying ahead of Rob Gravit? They're coming out of Druids. Dropping down to Graham Hill Bend. Rob Gravit in an ideal position to attack here. He's close up behind the wing of Andy Rouse's car as they go into 30s, the left-hander. He's going through on the inside. Rob Gravitt taking the lead from Andy Rouse. He's got the line, and he has to run wide. Look back, there he is. 145 miles an hour. Pilgrims to Hawthorne, the right-hander, which they're approaching now, underneath the bridge. This is Hawthorne. There is Andy Rouse behind in second position. You can read the word Andy on his number plate. Now, from Hawthorne's to Westfield, the right-hander. Look at this, terrific. You can see Andy Rouse's car pitching on the suspension. Now this is Dingle Dell, through Dingle Dell corner. Over the curve, over the curve, over the curve. Now down to the left-hander at Sterling's. From Sterling's down into clearways. And Rob Gravitt is leading. Is he going to stay ahead? No, he's not, because Andy Rouse goes through. And Rob Gravitt slows down. What has happened? He slowed right down. Bristow goes past to second place past Rob Gravitt. Dave Brody, a 
and Mike Smith go past third and fourth, and poor Rob Gravin is going to be out of the race. He's touring alongside the pits, and he pulls off. Why? Well, who knows? The car looks all right. This is how Andy Rouse saw it. Just a puff of smoke from Gravit's car there. Closes right up on the Ford and passed. What on earth happened? Um, the gear lead was broken. The gearbox is broken. So that was it. No gears. And that is rotten luck for Rob, who was certainly looking good for a fifth win. So now, Rouse leads, Bristow second, Brody third, Smith fourth, Edwards fifth, and Sean Walker in sixth place, and somebody off. It's Dave Pinkney Sierra, and that looks like a very expensive bit of Armco thumping. All the bodywork battered. Is Dave Pinkney battered? No, he's not. He's out of the car. He's perfectly all right. And there's another one. John Clark's BMW M3, and that is an excellent recovery. Two more BMWs there. Number 35, Ian Forrest, giving last year's British champion Frank Sidner a very hard time. Battling for second in Class B with the BMW of James Weaver ahead of them, leading the class. Sidner, Forrest. There ahead is James Weaver, class leader and championship leader in his BMW. Druids, great fight for second place. Bristow's got it at the moment. Brody just behind him. This is Mike Smith. Down to Graham Hill Bend at well over 100 miles an hour. And Mike is still recovering from a broken ankle from that very nasty helicopter crash. Down into second gear for the left-hander at Surtees. Brody, Mike Smith touched right up behind him. Brody's gone onto the curb. Now, Mike Smith's opportunity. He's got the momentum. Can he get through? There's Dave Brody in front. And he staves Mike Smith off as they go into Hawthorne. So it's still Bristow, Brody, Mike Smith. And it looks as though they're catching Lawrence Bristow in second position. That's the winner of the one-hour race at Donington man who drove with Tiffany Dell, but through Dingle Dell they go. Lapping, number 83, the veteran Tony Lanfranchi in the Astra. One, two, three, past Lanfranchi they go, and Guy Edwards is catching Mike Smith. Down to Clearways, Rouse is still ahead. Bristow second, Brody third, Smith fourth, Guy Edwards in fifth position. Into Paddock, now there is Rouse. Here is the battle for second position, Bristow, Brody and Smith. Seven laps to go, and Smith and Brody most definitely are catching Lawrence Bristow in the Blue Sierra. Up to Druids, number six, Bristow, second place. Brody takes a look on the right-hand side, dodges back, hugs the curb. Bristow runs very wide on the exit, and that gives Dave Brody the chance to close up. He's right up alongside him, going round the left-hander at Graham Hill Bend. He's still there as they come up to Surtees, but Bristow has got the inside line, and surely he must get away. But no, Brody's, Brody is hanging on, and Mike Smith is going through behind him too. Brody goes up into second place, Mike Smith goes up into third, we're riding with Lawrence Bristow, there goes Brody. There is Smith. And he is through up into third position. And so in just a few yards, Lawrence Bristow has gone down from second to fourth, with Smith and Brody ahead of him. Wow. There they go, second, third, fourth, but now it's Brody, Smith, and Bristow, and Edwards. There is Guy Edwards in fifth place, and he's gaining on the three ahead as they go through to lap Les Lydiard Toyota. And just look how close Guy Edwards is. Now we're in car with Lawrence Bristow. Immediately ahead is Mike Smith. Just ahead of him is Dave Brody. Down the Brabham Street at 130 miles an hour, on towards Paddock Bend. Down through the gears. Tuck in tight to the apex. Hit the apex. But Bristow's dropping back a bit as they go uphill and rise into Druids. Number 19, Dave Brody. He's had his problems this season. He's got one now. It's Mike Smith. And that's Alan Minshaw. 
retiring his Volkswagen Golf, and it looks as though the right front tyre is rubbing the bodywork. Now, that's Ray Arms, that's another retirement, the Honda Civic, but I must say he hasn't parked in a very sensible place. He's right on the tarmac on the Brabham Street. Couldn't he have pulled over further onto the grass? And the leaders are bearing down on him. Rouse has gone by, there's Brody, chased by Smith, and Bristow has got Edwards right in his slipstream. Guy Edwards putting across to try and pass Bristow, and he only just misses Arms' Honda Civic. That was a very close thing, and Guy Edwards goes through. Edwards up into fourth position, but not for long, he's run very wide indeed. Out onto the runoff, and Lawrence Bristow is back in fourth. Number six, Bristow, up into fourth position, and Guy Edwards has got it all to do again. Coming down to Graham Hill then. Along the bottom straight, so called, into Surtees, and Guy Edwards is doing it. He's back with Bristow already. it all seem. He's going to equal the number of race wins that Rob Gravitz got in the series this year. Because Andy Rouse has got very little distance left to go now. He's got a clear track in front of him. He's got a clear track behind him. And he knows Brands Hatch like the back of his hand. That's Dave Brody touring in the same problem that he had at Thruxton earlier in the year, a flat rear tyre. There it is, right on the rim. Through Dingledale Corner, keeping well to the side to let the others through. And now the adopted Australian Thomas Metzera, the winner of last year's Bathurst 1000 and a Brands Hatch racing instructor, is in third place. Number six, Lawrence Bristow, his teammate ahead of him. So this is a great race for the two Labatt's men. They are almost together, second and third, Bristow and Metzera, the two blue cars. Last lap, Andy Rouse, the man from Warwickshire, has led every lap. 
and he's going to win. He's put up the fastest lap of 100.27 miles an hour. He's just lapped Mike O'Brien, number 17 there. He's got his headlights blazing to let the people know he's coming through. Peter Dingle Del Corner for the last time. Up to Sterling's for the last time. He's now just got that little short straight after Sterling's as the back of the car steps out and Andy corrects it to go into the right hand of the clearways, which leads into Clark Kerr. Another win for the touring car champion of champions, Andy Rouse, but even more important than that, nine points for victory. So Andy Rouse levels the score over Rob Gravitt, four wins apiece. Excellent race for the Labatt's team, second and third via Bristow and Mazera. Sean Walker fourth, Mike Newman fifth, and Graham Good sixth. Rouse engineered cars filling the first three places, and it could have been four if Guy Edwards hadn't joined Mike Smith in the Westfield gravel trap. Uh, uh, Smithy's suspension broke, and uh, I had nowhere to go. I had to spin to avoid him. Otherwise, I'd have collected him too. I'm very sorry. Oh, no, it wasn't your fault, was it? <laughs> I mean, it wasn't. Uh, it no. looked like your wheel collapsed. Yeah. Or something like that, so, you know, it's a pity because I think we had a good chance of finishing behind Andy there. It may be four wins apiece, but it's Rob Gravitt ahead of Andy Rouse in the Class A Championship. Eight points the difference, Harvey and Bristow third and fourth.